What's up, guys? Kevin, you want to talk to you about the Marvel previews, the ones that I'm not interested in, but maybe you will be. All right, so Conan the Barbarian number one. They actually gave a little clip in here. Um, oh, here's an some alternate covers, in case you're interested. Um, let's see. They gave a little preview in here, so that's pretty sweet. Um, just so that, I guess, the comic book people will know. The store owners. Sorry, the comic book people. The store owners. And then they got the second one. So apparently it's a bi, bi uh, monthly. I think I'm saying that right. I was going to say bi weekly. I was like, no, that's too much. Where is the fold in this thing? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then we got a whole bunch of reprints of Conan the Barbarian. Uh, I don't know if you're a Conan the Barbarian guy. It's just not my thing. Um, you know, I feel like I should watch the Schwarzenegger movie, but it's not really my thing. You know, I don't know. I watched this guy. I, I don't remember what his channel's name was, but he uh, talks about, like, medieval fighting and, like, ancient war uh, traditions and stuff. And, uh, you know, he talked about whether or not the barbarian armor was realistic. And uh, I thought it was a really good video. I won't spoil it for you if you want to go find it. I forget what channel it is. Um, I'll look it up. But, um, yeah, it was pretty interesting. I mean, it, it kind of dealt with Conan the Barbarian and, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. And I think I was watching it last night. I don't remember. Maybe it was this morning. Oh, it's uh, Sh Sh Shadiversity. Shade diversity. I don't know. I was talking about different armor styles. Shout out to him. Whatever. He's super big. Probably doesn't need a tiny channel like me to do that. Anyways, Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Looks pretty cool. It's a pretty neat splash page there. I think actually it might be a poster. No, it's a wraparound cover by Jeff Shaw, whoever that is. I'm just going to admit, if I haven't admitted this before and you're new, or you're new to my channel, I'm terrible with names. There are some names that I can remember because everybody talks about them or because I'm reading them and I really love them or I really hate them. <laughs> but I'm terrible with names, so I, I don't keep up with most of them. So you're like, you don't know who this random guy is? Random to me, at least. Um, I, I can't believe you. I'm like, sorry, you know. Didn't mean to offend you for not knowing some guy. I know Donny Cates. It's sort of, well, I've heard the name Donny Cates because he writes a lot of stuff in Marvel. Then we got Kelly Thompson, Captain Marvel. She's the, uh, number one. They're rebooting it, of course. I, I said on my other video, the stuff I like, that's a cool cover. It's Alex Ross. I know him because, well, Lewis actually pointed it out this morning. <laughs> so I'm kind of stealing his knowledge. Anyways, <laughs> this is a cool. I love this. This is a really great look for Captain Marvel uh, back when she was Miss Marvel. Uh, you know, this one's not too bad. I don't mind this. I, honestly, I love that they've got the long hair back. This is a cool Captain Marvel, too. I like that cover a lot. Um, I think she looks great in the movie. See, my problem with the movie is that, I, like, I feel like the character hasn't earned the right to, to to their own movie. Like, earn the right to your own movie, and then I'll watch it. Like, that's that's kind of where, I mean, I'll probably go watch it anyway, because it's a Marvel movie. But I feel like it's going to be really good. Everybody's going to love it and uh, be super surprised. And then you'll have a whole bunch of people running around as Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is their favorite hit character, and I'm like... You don't even know who the real Captain Marvel is. His name's Billy Batson, and I'm like, you know, she just I just don't I don't I don't think the char the character's like a C lister and nobody care and not power wise but like it's po popularity wise and everybody's trying to make her more important than she is. That's just my opinion. If you disagree, let me know why. You know, if you like her, you know, I'm curious to see why. Got a Black Widow number one. I, f I would love a Black Widow Hawkeye team up book. That would be awesome. Um, I just, I don't know, you know. I'm sure that there's some good Black Widow stuff out there. I just haven't read it. Not really my stuff. Not really my style. 
if if you want to see all the stuff that I, I do recommend, go to my other video for Marvel, and you can also see the two for DC. They're uh, at the end of the of the video, but they're also on my channel. So feel free to check that out. You can see all of the stuff for a month. I'm just giving you stuff that I'm not really interested in, so that it's all on the internet. And I'm sorry that it's in two videos, but you know I want to give you the good stuff in one and the stuff that maybe you're interested in. I'm not. Got a reboot of the champions. Number one, it's a new rider. I've heard that it got better as the series progressed. So I don't know. I haven't watched it or read it. I got the first like 10, 15 issues or so with, excuse me, mainly because Miles Morales and uh, Miss Marvel were in there. Uh, I feel I feel like nobody's really written Miss Marvel well. Um, I feel like you should really write her in a lot of ways, like uh, Cassie from uh, the Young Justice team. Uh, the Tim Drake Teen Titans, but uh, that's just me, you know, that's just me. They don't do that, so I, I don't say anything. Um, we got Man Without Fear, apparently it's another five uh, thing. They got like a hundred different variant covers. Um, Age of X-Men, X -Man, uh, number one. Oh, X-Men, X-Man Alpha. Age of X-Man Alpha. Sorry, I'll get it right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I already recommended that in the other video. Uncanny X-Men. Um, I'll show you the next page. So it's actually got uh, X-Men, I think, on here. This looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool. This is the Uncanny X-Men Disassembled, number 10. I love this with all the um, Cyclops. This is my favorite, of course. Let me make sure I'm pointing the right one. Um, right here. This is the best. Um, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. This is the best one right there. That's the best Cyclops. And I, I do like this one with the hat or the, the head. And I, I kind of like... Uh, um, yeah, those are my favorites, those two. Those are the best Cyclopses. Why do they have to get rid of them? Oh, boom. Pointing to the wrong one. It's hard. My, my life's hard. <laughs> it's an annual, number one. Maybe I'll get the annual. You know, it's probably going to be like $600. Oh, $5. Boom. Not too bad. All right, Marvel Knights. Sorry for that interlude. You got five and six. The covers look awesome. I'm just going to say, especially this one. That looks really cool. I don't mind that one. But I just like all three, all four of the characters there together. There's a variant cover, but it does not look good to me. Avengers. I'm not sure who are on the Avengers these days, but it's probably not the people that I want to be on the Avengers. So, whatever. That would be Thor, Hulk, Captain America. Iron Man. There we go. Sorry, I knew I was, I was like, I'm missing one of them. <laughs> Thor, Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man. That's the Avengers team. Then we got <clears throat> Avengers West Coast. I showed this to Lewis and he was very sad. That looks good. Probably won't get it. You know, I just not the prelude kind of guy. Thor. I'd love to read a good Thor series. I think I have one. I just need to read it, you know, find time. Um, Iron Man, Captain America. I'd love to find a good Captain America Iron Man series. If you like these, let me know. I'm curious. Wow, if they're good. Um, I, it's just hard for me to buy everything, so I just buy the stuff that I know is good. You know, I don't want to waste my money on it. Amazing Spider-Man. I've heard the series has gotten a lot better, so I don't know. Let me know if you if you read it, because um, I'm curious. Um, this is Superior Spider-Man. It's not really my style. I tried it, didn't really care for it. Or maybe maybe that wasn't the right one. I don't remember who I, who I read. Venom! Are those both Venoms? Uh, this is Web of Venom. This is Venom. So is that number... Oh, that's number one. It's coming out this year, this week. So I bought the whole Web of Spider-Man series, or most of it. Uh, and I'm so excited. It's from like the... 70s, maybe? I don't know. It's old. Yeah, maybe not that old. Anyways, so now it's Web of Venom. <laughs> uh, then we got Marvel Tales featuring Venom. It's probably a reprint, I imagine. 
This is Spider-Man Deadpool. I, I got the first, like, six or seven of these, and then it just, I just didn't even find it funny. This cover is pretty funny. <laughs> um, Spider-Man says, shh, this is Blast Dark Country. He might hear us. <laughs> and then uh, Deadpool's like, according to the cover blurb, he's already found us because he's up there looking at him. It's fine. That's the kind of humor I want. I feel like with, uh, I was watching somebody, I don't remember who, might have been like, I love comics or whatnot. And he was talking about like, with Harley Quinn and uh, Deadpool, like they've made it all about like slapstick humor. Uh, it's basically like a, an adult version of uh, uh, fart jokes is basically what it is. And I'm just like, I'm not interested in that kind of joking. Like I want some, you know, good humor. So some good, you know, on the nose humor, and uh, you know, we'll see. Killmonger. I, I I don't know who's buying that. Black Panther. And then we got uh, Shuri. And then Black Panther versus Deadpool. I I don't know what to say about all those. Just not really my thing. Punisher. I tried the first one, didn't really care for it. I thought the artwork wasn't the best, but that's just me. I think uh, someone unsubscribed to me when I uh, said that the first Punisher bet well, issue was bad. Because <laughs> it was like right after that video that somebody dropped out. But whatever, you know, you don't have to come. You know, I, I welcome all. I welcome all, but you know, I guess I guess I have to agree with you. You know, I don't care. Winter Soldier number two. That's a cool cover, if nothing else. Really love the cover. I heard the first one was really good. I didn't get it, but heard it was good. Doctor Strange. I would love to get into a Doctor Strange series. Um, but then we got Ironheart. At least she's on her own comic now. Uh, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl and uh, Moon Girl. I don't know how they're on this like 40th and 39th issue. Like, who's buying this? And then Unstoppable Wasp, who's on like the third reboot. She's trying to catch up to Miss, uh, uh, Captain Marvel <laughs> on reboots. Where is Miss Marvel? We haven't had like a Miss Marvel title in a while. I feel like that's a character with some some uh, uh, development. Like I feel like she's like the younger, like the Marvel female version of uh, uh, Simon Baez. I mean, of course, they're both Muslim, but you know... You know, I, I felt like she had some interesting characteristics, and I loved her with uh, Miles Morales. There's a couple issues where she crossed over with him in the previous Miles Morales series, and uh, it was good. It was really good. I was like, under the right hands, like I feel like Miss Marvel. Um, oh, what's her name? <sighs> Forget her name. Uh, I feel like she she's got some great potential that's just not really being used. And, you know, um, let me see if they have her on here. Uh, she's got her as Miss Marvel. Man, I cannot remember her name. cannot remember her name. Uh, I feel like she's got a lot of potential. There she is right there. Um, with Miles Morales, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like there's a lot of potential with the character. Nobody's really doing anything with her. You know, they haven't done anything with her really since, as far as I, I've ever seen. Anyways, that's just my thoughts. Black Order, 3 of 5, and uh, Runaway, 17, whatever. I like that it's got the yellow uh, um, Nova as Guardians of the Galaxy. Me and Lewis still find this joke really funny, <laughs> even though it's been like five months <laughs> as Guardians of the Galaxy. X-23 and Return of Wolverine. I got the first couple issues and enjoyed them. It just wasn't enough to keep buying it. And honestly, I just kind of missed it. Issue 3 and just like, whatever. I don't care. X-23, number 8. I feel like she's mis mishandled too. Such a great character. Such a beautiful character. But um, I mean that in like her, like the idea of, of her as a character is, is a beautiful thing. Um I don't know why I had to clarify that. Wolverine, The Long Night. Kind of looks interesting. Not something that I'm interested in. Dead Man Logan. That's That looks dumb. I'm sorry. If you like it, let me know why. Or if it's any good, let me know. Shatterstar, Weapon H. Don't know anything about those. Don't really care. 
Sorry. X Force number two. I feel like uh, the old X Force probably better. Sorry, I, I'm tired, so my uh, my truth truth thing is is coming out. Miss Mister and Mrs. Number Seven. I really wish I was into this. Um, I haven't heard anything good about it. Well, it's Kelly Thompson writing apparently, so it's probably not going to be great. Um, I don't trust her at all. But I'm at least glad they're together in the comic books because I love the two characters. I mean, um, <clears throat> until the movie, I really liked Rogue. Um, and Gambit's one of my favorite X-Men. One of my favorite characters of all time. I just love his power. I think it's really great. I love that he's kind of an outsider. I think he's a better outsider than uh, Wolverine is. But that's just me. <laughs> You know, everybody loves Wolverine. I have a poster, but I inherited it. I would have rather had it as the the uh, um, Gambit from the mo from the Wolverine movie, but uh, whatever. You know, everybody didn't like that movie, but I at least like the Gambit scene. That was pretty sweet. I love watching him beat up Wolverine. How right, we got Iceman Exiles? It looks like they just made it a five of five for Iceman. Uh, it's like that. That series just can't. Cannot stay on. Then we got Domino. I don't know enough about the character to, to care for. I guess she was the one in uh, the Deadpool movie. And speaking of, we got Deadpool. That's a pretty funny cover, but still doesn't really draw my attention. I don't know. Like I just feel like Deadpool is not as funny as he used to be. I'm going to do the Star Wars in both. This looks awesome. I hate that these are like single issues. That's a great book. I already read it. That looks good. Excited. These look okay. I, I mentioned them in my last one because they're Star Wars. Luke Skywalker here should not be able to... Er, sorry. This guy should not be able to keep up with Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker has beaten Darth Vader. Like, uh, obvi um, I think arguably the greatest villain of all time. Uh, and, and he's struggling with a stormtrooper. Get out of here. But yeah, we got two of them. I guess Han Solo's up against another, you know, cowboy, and, you know, Luke's up against another Jedi or something, I don't know. Shadow of Vader, I'm excited about that. Don't know why they had to cancel the other one, though, but <laughs> this looks dumb. I, I enjoyed the movie, I really did, but I don't really care about this. Although I do actually have the graphic novel of issue episode 1, 2, and 3, so that's pretty sweet. And last but not least... Maybe the least. I don't know. Dr. Afra, Who is buying this? I have no idea. Um, oh, we got Superhero Adventures. That's pretty cool. They're really pushing the uh, Spider-Verse. Anyways, who is buying Dr. Afra? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. How does she get so many things? She's like the, the lesser character in the star, in the Darth Vader series. They canceled Darth Vader and put Dr. Afra in. And it's just like... We wanted Darth Vader. We were buying it because Darth Vader was in the title, not Dr. Afra. And look, she's got 28 issues. Why does she have 28 issues, but but Darth Vader can't get more than 25? What what that doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. That's all I got. Let me know what you think. Uh, I've got a couple other videos, the the Marvel ones that I'm looking forward to or that I know that are good um, or that people like. Then I got DC ones that I really like, ones that are okay. Um, so check those out. Love to see um, everybody support their local comic book store. And uh, mine is Play for Life Comics. If you're ever in Wake Forest, uh, at least it is for this week, because uh, obviously I'm moving. See all my boxes here. Anyways, so let me know what you think. Give us a like if you haven't subscribed. What we'd love to welcome you to the family. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, join us there. And, uh, yeah, we will uh, catch you next time. Peace.